believe about his mother. Get him, Dr. Phil. Um, oh, and the dad claims, too, that the doctor... I can cut the... I can, I'm going to cut the front off. The dad claims the doctor is covering up the results for the mom. Mom got in touch with the doctor, and they're in cahoots. He's so fucking weird. <laughs> I should make it faster, hold it. There. And spread it up a little, okay? I can cut the front off, or I can cut it in half. Yep. He, he, the dad gambled all the money away, and he blames the mom. It was to sign the papers to cash in your pension plan. No. Is that right? He wanted me to cash in my pension plan, but I don't even know what those papers no, were. The paperwork but he does want you to sign, he does want you to cash in yes. your pension plan. Yes, sir. Because he was saying, Mom won't help us, we need this. And he told me back there. We're going to use that money, and now we're going to leave our house because of her. Yeah, you right? screw. Because he knows that you lost the family, despite the fact He's heard it all, Dad just said. Despite the fact that he is stalking so you, sad. Listen to this shit. Okay, and, and what, would, what would you like right to see happen here? Well, I wanted my family back, but to sit here and listen to this, because I know my life. Uh -huh. I know my life. Mm -hmm. And you're going to do this to me. What did I That's do to my you? Kid. This was all your the father I've been, the husband I've been all my life. And Are you you're kidding me? This. Okay, talk to me for a second. Okay. What is it she's doing? <laughs> She's turning this and manipulating the whole situation is what she's doing. She's turning what? this on me. She's still lying. She's not owning up to what she has done. All she hasn't done she's anything. What she is, how she has treated my son and I all our lives. She's not doing oh anything. What you happy today is if she confessed. You said you want a confession so you can start fresh. I would love a confession out of this girl. I've been waiting all my life for her. Okay, and what is it she would like her to confess? <laughs> I right, want right her to confess right, right now of who you've been with. I want to know who you slept with. Like, I, I want to know who you had that October night. We were camping. My son and I were camping. I, I want to know. I wasn't with anyone, Michael. And if you can't, I wasn't you can't with hurt, anyone. If I you can't, can't finally be true enough. to your heart, your I have heart first. You just don't believe me or trust me, Mike. I can't. I can't. I'm not lying to you, Mike. I love you more than anything in this world, and I would do anything. I would. I would. I would forget all of this. I have nothing to tell you, Michael. I tried to. I'm not berating her. I hate it. I would have told you a long time ago. Darn it! Makes my blood boil so much. You guys have no idea. He's still on it. In back. Like, I'm not lying to you. I what is? You believe you're on Doctor Phil. You're on the Doctor Phil show. I know what I've lived. Okay. Um, I, I want to talk to Mike for a few minutes here. Here's what I want you to do, Robin. Would you please come up and get? Oh, and please. And sit with you for a minute. Just hang on, Robin. I'll come get you here. Do you know my wife, Robin? Oh, and look how sweet she is. So giddy and sweet. Uh, hmm? I just want her to sit, sit right there with you. Poor thing. I do not believe that your wife is cheating on you. I think the last thing she Hello? Oh, yeah, I got walnuts. <gasps> you, hear, you hear that? Hold on, walnut. I've been somebody I haven't been all this my life. Oh, give me a break. Well, I, I wanted, um, your wife to Yeah, I want to in the audience knows. I, I want to talk to you. It's, it's like I'm going to have a part one and part two on this video. But come on. Come here, look, it's a pecan. Come get it. Oh, I hear that dumb bird. Fine. Because I had a sense how this was going to go. And here's the letter that I had my right to before I agreed to see. I would like to express my feelings on what I hope Dr. Phil can do for my family. Uh, to hear our story. Tell me what he thinks our problems are. And there. I pause it. I'll let you read it. Mm, I guess that's the rest of it. I actually think I, there was I, three I pages. Like oh, wait, oh, here's another page. And learn from this. Thank you and your staff for your concerns. You see his fake crying. I, I wanted an anchor. Look at fake crying. Before I agreed to Watch how quickly he shuts it off. I think has a tendency to explain things away. Yeah, First yeah, all, he got you pegged. Look, even see, if, if done. You are 100% right. Yes. You hear his tone and voice. Your Come on, Dr. Phil, stop your talking. Let, let's hear him. I, I don't want to copy right here. See, see, he ain't wrong. sad. He ain't so sad. Somebody here, I do not believe, and I'm a pretty good judge of these things, I do not believe that your wife is cheating on you. I think the last thing she wants in her life is another man. Yeah. <laughs> 
I'm just telling you, I, I don't believe, that's just my professional opinion. And you're saying unbelievable, unbelievable. Well, th then don't believe it. No, th that's okay, but I'm telling you, okay. I do not believe that your wife is being unfaithful to you. I think you have become consumed by this. I, did. I, I think did. you've lost focus on your life. And I, I think that it has gotten to the point that it is delusional. I know you can't see it you perfectly. To be happy, but you've convinced but, um, yourself that you have to have a confession. Yeah, YouTube algorithm, you not algorithm. YouTube's their copy guide thing. It's what's really motivating Maybe the glare of my door will throw them off. I don't know. know. That is not what's triggered this. Me it's this not that she's cheating somebody because right she quick. isn't. You should be saying, then what the hell has got me so upset here? Because I don't care what you guys say. There's a part of you that thinks he's kind of a nice guy. There's a part of you that thinks he's kind of charming. Yes, no, no, there is. Yeah, there is. <laughs> she's still loves him. What I fear I create, you are destroying the family really you think you are fighting so hard to make them. That hurts you. you are the problem. But Just think about that. I, know, I got my hard. my that's husband that's away from terrible so people, and I, I got lucky enough to ha get a husband that wound well, up changing wrong, for the better. So what is it about you that you're having such a terrible reaction? People get, and I'm well aware and most women are, are not so lucky, because I mean, look at my dad, for God's sake. He beat his fiance to death with his bare hands, and wound up spending 14 years in prison over it. Yeah. You know? She says in my head, evidently. Well, but what about it? I mean, were, did, have you had trauma in your life? Have you, have yeah, you, have you been this traumatized me? Before? I was, no, before no, this. no, before this, no, I have you not. You were just peachy. No, I, I feel like huh? I've been one hell of a man, one happy man. I wake up happy, I go to bed happy. I just, no, I listen, this thing stuck to my bone. Because I don't care what you guys say, there's a part of you that thinks he's kind of a nice guy. There's a part of you that thinks he's kind of charming. Yes, no, no, there is, there is a part I of felt your tooth. If he gets past this, you have the ability to be a good Oh, yeah, the walnut. You got the ability to be a good man. I could have given you a walnut. Here. You can poo-poo it, aside that I'm in on it with the doctor, and then I'm a quack, and all of that, or maybe I'm not really a doctor, I just don't want to be. Um, but there's something called a personality disorder, that's a cluster. And a personality disorder is an inner experience. Yep. That's important, because it's something outside of you, not reacting to the world, it's inner experience. Walnut? It's pervasive. I got a pecan over here. Uh oh. I actually clicked something on the keyboard. Where'd you go? And you as a couple and a family. Oh, mm -hmm. like you. I'm cozy anyhow. And I think you need some help and support as a woman. Oh, damn it. I want to provide that for you. So you're going to have a lot of work to do, just like he is. This isn't all about him. Now, but I say I'm going to get you some help. Yep. Who's going? My wife, Robin, announced the first program from her new foundation when Georgia smiled. What? The Robin Straw Revelation Foundation. Nice. Now, it is called the Aspire Initiative, and it is very exciting. It's an interactive Oh, and it's, it's right here. Since this is video two, I'm going to go back and show you what the dad did with the kid with the note and shit. She left over money? Yeah. Uh -huh. She um said that mm -hmm. she's going to take out her first money mm -hmm. to help us, and then she left. You know a lot about this. Yeah, I've been filled in on everything, yeah. frankly. Yeah, who fills you in? Um, My dad, because I've been drugged into it from the beginning. <laughs> How did it start? It started with my mom lying about a party. Up until a couple of years ago, you and your mom were very close, right? You said yeah. he is really caught in the middle of some real chaos. Here. Mike has both attempted suicide twice. The first time, he held a rifle in his mouth. The second time, Mike grabbed a bottle of pills and pretended to take the whole bottle in front of our son. What the hell were you thinking? Get him, Dr. Phil. You did it to what you learned. She didn't. Oh, my God. He tested in whether or not she cared. What? 
That wouldn't suck to lose your pot, though. Yeah. Totally. Got it, too, buddy. The doctor's excuse that he got through that I got through for a disease. Oh, the best move I ever made, buddy. Are you telling me you're not coming home saying we got... Jesus. Hermes are for clean. So you went to the doctor. You were never diagnosed with chlamydia. But him... I took this doctor's word. You what? gave us the note. Why would you give me a bogus note? He told me I had it 100%. I agreed to do this story for one reason. It's because y'all have a child that I think is really caught in the middle of some real chaos. Mike has fake attempted suicide twice. The first time he held a rifle. Right, I brought you the, the first video. Okay, hold up. Because, yeah, it was so good. They did it in two videos. Why didn't the dad follow her with a camera like that? Mm -hmm. I can't I set this down normal. I slapped Cindy one time after she had to bite me in the nose. I have grabbed Cindy by the neck and just wanted to shake the truth out of her. I spit in her face one day because I just wanted to hit her like a man. I wanted to create pain for her. I wanted to so bad it wasn't any funny. Don't go subscribe button and stay tuned. And leave a little comment if you want to see me. And the squirrels watch some more Dr. Phil. I'm sorry I have to watch it like this and that I don't know how to edit like a fucking pro and I don't have, you know, the equipment of all these spoiled little rich kids, you know, that got a whole wing of the house all to themselves. Uh, I'm sorry I ain't got it like that, you know. I'm just a normal person over here. I'm a normal person who spends all my money on animals. As we did in our Not I'm buying them like a hoarder, but I'm taking care of them. The foods to catch and the animals outside. The skunks, the possums, the raccoons, the sticky bandits, and the squirrely brigade. I love them. And I love you guys. So yeah, hit the subscribe button. Hang around. Stick around a while. Cheers and smiles. I want my wife back. I want to get to the bottom of all Shut our problems. Shut up. You all don't years. know what you want. You want you your wife back. Here. Yes, I do. Well, you, you're really charming her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the way it's got to go down. This is the way it's got to go down. I tried I'm wondering how this video is going to turn it. out. You never wanted my love. I'm I not idea. Mess up. Me copyright. Okay, let's talk about it. Copyright. I'm wondering about the audio. Tell me what your experience is. I mean, he sends us a tape of him in my sense in an uncontrolled rage. Yelling and screaming at you to get out. Then he comes here and says, I want her back. Do you want her out? You want her back. You're telling her, get out, get out, get out. We hate you, you know, get some bitch, get out. I tore my heart out this moment outside of the tape. I want the truth. Okay. This isn't about being right. This is about being healthy and giving my boy a good life. Hey, where'd you go? By the way, he's not hearing anything. I think that his behavior is something we need to discuss. But I want to talk about what I consider pressure on this part. And you tell me what your experience Oh, I'm gonna have to dig out another peanut. Yeah, hold on. Uh. Alright, here you go. We have the feast. 